Congratulations on a really moving picture, you Thank know. You. Um, can you talk, obviously it's towering performance by Javier. He said you had three months of preparation, which seems an unusually long time. Talk about how you built that character. Well, you know, it, for me it has been a long four-year process of writing and doing all things. Uh, but it was for me a necessarily process to write some biography of this character and Manambras and the most important, I, I normally do that. So I, I, I wrote these biographies. Sometimes I share it with the actor, sometimes it's just for me. This time I share it with him. I, I did diagrams to understand the internal conflict of each moment of this character. I have this spiral that was from the out to the interior of his soul in the existential questions of a man who is dying, the questions that you do yourself, the very, very, the very, I will say, yeah, the very metaphysical questions about his father that he never know, about the memory in his kids, about. And I have this spiral completely contrary to another spiral, which was from the internal to the exterior, which was losing control, all things in life, all the territorial, all the physical things were going out of control, and those currents were against each other and then there was a middle line of a spirituality based on the gift that he has to talk to the dead and know what happened after. So I knew that every scene has to be built into that internal, physical, metaphysical, spiritual kind of thing. And I tried to give all that Javier and explain what was my vision and what was my micro observation. And then we talk, he said what he want, what he need, I you know. And then we, we talk about that and design for periods. I shoot this in chronological order. Mm -hmm. That gave us a lot of chance to that. And then just Javier obsessively, you know, mm -hmm. just get into the role and just throw himself physically, spiritually, emotionally. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. It was a monumental work. <laughs> when do you like, because it is such, it's almost abstract in a way. I mean, there's certainly a trajectory to the character, but it's not, it's not a plot movie. When did you know you had the movie? I mean, did you could you see it in your head in the writing? Did you see it on set, or was it when you were in post? When the images yeah. Flow? Well, I have to first listen to the the, the films. I have to conf I heard the films. Then I construct as you t as I tell you the emotional thing, and I have to understand it, which kind of genre I, I'm talking. This time is tragedy. This is a tragedy, absolutely, with all the rules of tragedy that I have never done before, and then. Obviously, it comes the visual grammar and the architectural pieces of that. Uh, but this film, it was written not with any rules of, hey, hey, this war clock right. jobs sure. of, of products that first act, second act, third act, the plot point. All, I, I hate that. I, I, this was more, more like a lyrical kind of thing. <laughs> And you know, you never know when you are finished. Mm -hmm. It's until you are editing that you find out if you have something or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say. Well, they wrap me up, but it's a real beautiful piece of work. You know, congratulations on it.